All right, let's uh, let's play some games that I got. Starting with Zvi, the Ilvad Insurrection. Ranvelin, the world of myth and magic where continents hang suspended in the skies. And other things. Six demon lords were up to make war upon the world. Or advance to check by the lords of the Okay. <laughs> we know the epic of the great source of war and its aftermath sacred kingdom fell into decline along with the magic that subdues every aspect of its progress civilization. Most keenly fell with the loss of transportation gates that had led to the Grand Fallen's uh, myriad floating islands lands. Okay. Alright. Sure. The Aeroplane. Not to be confused with Aerosmith. Oh, sorry about that. Just one second. Got it. Off the coast of Ilvard. Let me turn this down. He's got such pretty eyes. I'm through the skies like a bird. Engines purring like a kitten. Guess it wouldn't hurt to kick her in overdrive and shorten the trip. Let's see what this thing can really do. Nani? What the, the hell is that? Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell? Stupid human! Meow, meow, simple. <laughs> God. Uh. Feeling meow, simple. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Rocking out here. Maybe they did invent Aerosmith. Is this like Proto Slayer? Proto Metallica? Tristan. Tristan. Yeah. yeah! I can't believe this crummy metal bird is keeping up with the great Mont Blanc's majestic dragon. Hey, puppet girl. I know you can hear me. If you're done pretending, I'm not being shot at. Maybe you could try helping me. I wasn't pretending, just amused. You seem so confident and gung ho, so you have no trouble handling this by yourself. How about you shut the hell up? Very well. girl. Let's go, Emma Rod. How come everybody has a cool dragon, but I just have a fucking biplane? It's like Lord of the Rings versus World War One. This music's rad, though.
I have no idea what's happening. No, I'm kicking ass. That's what's happening. Dude, this music's awesome. Oh shit. <clears throat> Convenient. Your plane happened to crash on the one little piece of land in the air. Tisk tisk. Girl in black. Sloppy. Well then, let's be off. <laughs> Spy the Ilbert insurrection. You okay? Hey, are you okay? Hmm. You have a glass of water. I don't know. I worry, worried. Panda in. You're goddamn right. That's me. Tristan. Slow down there, tiger. Not a full-time position. The closest we've got here in Artete. Miriam. <laughs> I crashed? So that's what happened. Ragna Valentine. Treasure. <clears throat> Treasure hunter and career for hire. That would explain why a guy your age already has his own plane. I'm impressed. Treasure hunters must be built like a brick too. Nasty crash, but you came out with just a few cuts and bruises. It's a miracle you are already awake. What? She's right, you know. I'm afraid your plane wasn't quite as fortunate, though. It broke clean in two on impact. Good thing it was a biplane. I'd expect you would have some major fractures, but I found no signs of trauma. Only a couple minor abrasions and lacerations. Tell me, do you hurt anywhere? Wait a minute, you said that my plane snapped in half? Are you kidding me? You know how much cash I poured into all the custom mods? New paint job was barely even dry. I just had the new Aerotech propellers installed too. I knew it! So those were Aerotech parts! At least look a bit happier. You're in one piece, aren't you? Makes you feel any better. Pressure propellers came back looking pretty good. All things considered, it's great. But where? what are they gonna do? Get half a plane airborne? I wasn't expecting to come out with this. Out of scratch, but uh, let me think. Kitty. Bad kitty. Goons. What? I don't remember that part. This is your fate. Come, embrace it. Ooh.
trying to piece together what happened to me. I was wondering, can you show me that hill where my plane crashed? Yep, it's a hill, all right. Save. Yeah, save all that progress. Brandy Hill. Here we are, Brandy Hill. You can see all of art from here. Heck, on a clear day, you can see most of Milford. But man, evening already? The day sure flew by. Ragnar, right? Your plane's up there at the top of the hill. We don't need any extra help. Fine for now. Guess check for damage. You aren't gonna get in trouble for skipping out on work, are you? Don't worry about it. I'm Union. She fixes airplanes. Sayonara. Just in case anything does come up, I better be sure I'm prepared. I'm good to go. Oh, okay. That is cool. What the hell is that? Anchor gear? Saved my bacon. Well, you don't want to lose your bacon. Whoa! That's cool. Kind of stubby, but pretty cool. Move the camera at all? Nope, no camera move. Okay. Uh, that clearly looks like a thing I could jump onto. Alright. I hope I don't fall off a cliff or something. That's CD. Oh no, it's Yen. Neat. Hmm. Nothing up there. I'm not sure if this actually makes me go faster, but it feels like it does. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's not quite in two. I mean, kinda. Oh boy, he sure wasn't exaggerating. Damn near told her. A damn near told her. Fire, fire away. I mean, that, that propeller looks pretty fun. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Making a, a ant out of a molehill or something.
All right. Huh? A castle? Well, what the hell? There wasn't anything there just a second ago. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Man alive. Just how hard did I hit my head? Man, man alive? What? Man alive. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, you're not hallucinating. The castle's always been there. It's just that now you can perceive the imperceptible. In other words, you're one step closer to seeing the true face of the world. <laughs> Congratulations. Who's there? Ah, not so fast. Before I show you myself, I have a little test for you. After all, I need to see whether you're really worthy. And what is that weird thing you've got strapped to your arm? Is it even a weapon? Show me. Oh, bad guy. Gah? ta -cha. That's all I needed. More trouble. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I don't care. So bring it. Press the button. Attack button to... Really? Press the attack button to attack enemies? Huh. Show me some answers, asshole. <laughs> oh, this translation. What? You no, know, you should really be wearing underwear. Means you passed the test, sky soaring traveler. Name is Alwyn. Alwyn Dun Mundria. The sacred name of Espina, great mother of darkness, and by the power of the blood contract that binds us. I hereby command you to serve me as payment for saving your life. What do I get out of it? Oh, is this the intro? Movie? And that was the prologue. Wow, this, uh, <laughs> two FPS movie is really fluid. Is that supposed to be, uh, playing this slow and choppy? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be playing this slow. Is it so slow and choppy? That's cool, she just rides on it. That looks fun. Who's that fairy?
yeah, I think the uh, I think the music got a lot ahead of the uh, video. <laughs> hmm. This is what happened. Yep. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the movies to play right because this is not right. Neat. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Look, yellow, yellow person. There's a cat, a hooded person, a wolf, Ganondorf. <laughs> Spooky castle. A tornado. Lens flare. Watch me fly this plane. Fly the Ilved Insurrection. Can't spell insurrection without erection. <laughs> Okay. I met. Yeah, that water needs to be cleaned. Got algae growing in it. That is not a piano sound. It's like a like an old timey piano. Okay. This everything you order. Oh god, no. You really think you can finish? Could feed family with this. Oh my god. Oh, don't worry about us. To send any of these dishes away with food left on them would be an insult to the chef. Okay. Sounds like you like. <laughs> it's really amazing, mister. You fall out of plane, get hurt so bad. What what is her accent supposed to be? No, you already have pretty girl in your room. And she has big appetite. Oh, whoa. Hello. <laughs> she ate my gal. Yeah. Asshole. Did you, did you really have to order that much? We could have thrown a banquet with all this food. Asshole. Princess. I so much as a single morsel in the last fortnight. Fortnite? Though unlike Someone's playing humans, Fortnite. I don't need to eat for sustenance. You're just a fat ass. <laughs> I yeah, I can relate. To. A treat for the senses, you could say. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> don't give me that load of crap. You can't just say something like that and expect me to just shrug and let it go. Ooh, the chunks of dried abalone really turn this soup into a surprise for the palate. You must think I'm loaded or something. Ordering all these high roller dishes. Hey, at least leave a couple bites for me. Oh god, that's supposed to be like a Chinese ex. Oh, it's so bad. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll call you something. Yeah, go, go get a real accent. Something troubling you? 
You must be hungry, but you barely touched your plate. As your master, I give you my full permission to dig in. Eat and drink to your heart's content. <sighs> Let me guess. You've got a big old spread of desserts on the way. After that, will you finally explain what's going on? Yeah, you're a little bitch. And how are you expecting to pay for it? You've already gone and blown all my money! It looks like you'll have to go and blown something else. For money. So let me get this straight. You're really a vampire? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> My name is Alwyndu Moonbria, current head of the Moonbria clan of noble truebloods who have ruled this land since time immemorial. <laughs> Give me a break. It was funny the first time, but how long are you planning on dragging this joke out? What? We ain't in some kid's storybook, and there's no such thing as vampires. Yeah, maybe cats on flying dragons and magical lands floating in the sky but no vampires not uh yeah okay so your wings look pretty realistic and i could maybe buy you not being human but <laughs> non-human sure but vampires no way this is your fate What a flashback, dude. You really gotta lay off all the LSD. Looks like your memory's clearing up. After your metal beast crashed yesterday, you were in bad shape. Well, more than bad. You were dying. I pulled you from the wreckage and formed a blood contact with you. That's why you're safe, sound, and very much alive now. I see. What the hell's a blood contract? <laughs> it's rather simple. I partook of your blood and at the same time infused you with some of mine. Uh, maybe you should have checked, like, blood type first. So now, you and I share a spiritual link as master and vassal. With the formation of our contract, you cease to be fully human. Does that mean you cease to be fully vampire? You've been reborn as my blood knight. Spared the Reaper's touch to guard and defend me. Right. Right. Blood knights possess incredible regenerative powers, on a level mere mortals could only dream of. Despite being at death's door, your body recovered so quickly that by the time your rescuers came, you were almost fully healed. I believe that should answer all of your questions, no? Uh, I would say that opens up more questions than they answered. <laughs> this is all some kind of bad joke, right? Yes, she's actually a comedian. You're telling me I've become some sort of monster? Well, that ship has sailed long ago, brother. human but it's not like you're a demon now you're something in between yeah a lawyer a blood contract is exactly what the name says a contract and as an involved party you're free to nullify it at any time after you pay me back for saving you of course what <laughs> what <laughs> about something like that you might not like it but the price is weighted against the value of your life cheating death doesn't come cheap well shit <laughs> uh oh ragna i ain't proud of it but i'm no stranger to debt but with all the cash i poured into the trist so how much is it gonna be i need about tree pity a million penny and i'll bet you want even more than that yeah a, a million ZD. Huh? Why would I have any interest in your petty cash? What I want is your help in retaking my castle. You have a castle? Of course. Did you not see it just beyond the hill? That is Castle Moonbria. I inherited it from my father. Typical. You mean that mirage floating out in the air? Magical You're trust fund. Your place? Wait, wait, back it up a little. What's all this about retaking it? Just what it sounds like. A fortnight ago, a villain unknown came and besieged my castle. I was deprived of most of my magical powers in the ordeal. I was able to escape somehow. Somehow. Just remembering it is enough to mortify. Oh, okay. That's so how she escaped. 
doesn't sound like you got much to go on either. Any ideas who it might be? Anyone you know got a grudge against you? Honestly, I haven't the faintest clue. Considering they command a host of fiends and were able to steal my powers, it'll be a nasty foe to tangle with. And that means I need a vassal I can count on. Asshole! You think there's any chance those goons who attack my aeroplane are involved with this? Aeroplane? I'd almost guarantee it. After stripping me of my castle, they moved to secret castle off outside contact with Ilverd to keep anyone from interfering. I can only assume that's the reason they blasted your metal beast out of the skies yesterday. Alright, let's say I believe what you're saying. It sounds like me and the Tristan have a score to settle with those guys, whoever they are. Is this fucking, like, Toto in the background? So I guess it makes sense to work with you to make sure they get what's coming to them. <laughs> Glad to see you're finally falling in love. So, to reiterate, hold it! <laughs> Objection! I'm to help, but when I do something, I at least want to say how I do it. I don't really how you do it? Blood contract mumbo jumbo, but I'm blood contract. <laughs> me like some serving boy. Oh, feisty, aren't we? I'm a treasure hunter and an aeroplane pilot. Aeroplane. And pretty good at both, if I say so myself. And both of those jobs put a premium on freedom. Freedom isn't Where free. You want, doing what you want. So I'm sorry to say that kowtowing to your every whim just ain't gonna cut it for me. In other words, what you're trying to say is you don't want to work with me? <laughs> no, it's not that. I'm grateful you saved my life, and I do want to return the favor. But I want to do it as equal partners. That's my condition. Yeah, that's not how debt works, bro. I don't think you understand the position yeah. you're in here. The blood contract is absolute. Going against the will of the master like you are should cause you a significant degree of pain. Uh, so that's how it works, huh? <laughs> I guess that explains why my heart attack just now. I apologize for the discomfort, but if you keep defying my will, all the effort I went through to save your life will have been for nothing. Got it? Oh, I get what you're saying. And that's all the more reason not to submit to you. It might seem stupid, but the little pride I've got is what keeps me going. If you can't live with that, then suit yourself. You can have your blood contract back and the life you spared with it. Yeah. Hmm. Asshole. <laughs> you humans can be so difficult sometimes. That's it. I'm intrigued. You've managed to keep my interest. Uh, uh. Very well. Ragna Valentine, from this point forward, I hereby recognize you as a partner oh. and equal. Yeah, okay then. Hey! Oh. On my name, Alwyn Dumumbria. Let the blood contract be hereby rewritten. Oh. What? <laughs> Okay then. What a merciful master. Our contract has been revised. As of right now, we stand on the same footing, completely equal. Now get the hell out. The bond formed by the blood contract still exists, of course. But if you join me, you can be assured that you're helping me of your own will. And so I ask you once again, help me retake my castle. <sighs> I'm game. Don't you worry. You're gay? You bought for me already, and I intend to pay you back. Oh, With interest. Explains all the pride. Excellent. I'm expecting great things from you. Still, this was an unexpectedly selfless choice on your part. After all, I never imagined anyone would cast aside such a glorious, glorious position. position just to be on equal terms with me. Nani? Glorious position? What glorious position? Being my servant, of course. <laughs> To be the vassal of a true blood would have been the envy of demons the world over. Willingly denying yourself such good fortune, you're either a bastion of humility or an asshole. asshole. Why the hell would I want to be popular with demons? Do you really think I'd get a kick out of being your magical asshole? <laughs> you wouldn't? Um, seeing as I've never left my castle before, most of what I know is what I've read in books. Are we watching a movie? Must have actually changed in the last couple centuries, huh? Oh. Oh. Sense now. So that means if two plus four squared equals eighteen, he's practically a shut-in. 
Yeah. High and mighty. Were you saying something? Nah, just thinking. This whole thing sounds like it's gonna be some rough going. That's all. What? Are you getting cold feet now? No, my feet are warm. You have nothing to worry about. Once I get my powers back, I'll be as good as invincible. True blood vampires are legendary for their exceptional. True strength. blood? I don't think I could stream that. that of the six demon lords. So you can rest easy knowing you're fighting on the winning team. <laughs> what the hell have I gotten myself into? <laughs> That's the most genuine line I've heard this guy say so far. That's that's what he said before he like signed up as the voice actor. Panda. Negative. Of course. Garlic is delicious. Oh, I'm glad they addressed this plot hole. Now to address the many, many other ones. Blue. Oh, not my favorite color. Okay. Need to save your game, just examine a rest stop. Oh, neat. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna stop this game right here so I can move on to the other ones I bought. Uh, how do I examine said rest stop? Oh, hello, Lipton. Do you sell tea? Uh, your dog is... Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Totally normal dog. I did well to don a nice thick suit coat this morning. Today's weather will be brisk. A chubby cheek panda. Alright. Is this a rest stop? How do I rest? Oh no, you you need to go back somewhere. Now hey, get on stage. I want to sing. Oh, I am the show. <laughs> How do you travel to a floating island? Chester. Oh, whoops. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Like, <laughs> it does a flip over me. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Bong. Hello and welcome. Sleep up. Food exchange program. Hmm.
Neat. Okay, how the hell do I save? So re oh, here we go. Time to take a breather. Yes. All right. On to the next one. So that was Vi. It's pretty fun. I'll definitely get back to playing that again. Ein Schweizer. Right. 